ISO 13485 and FDA CFR 21 Part 820. What is their purpose and what are the differences between them? In today's video I'll be discussing with you the answers to these questions. Number 1. What is their purpose? Both of these regulations are standards or means of which a quality management system should comply to as a medical devices manufacturer. FDA CFR 21 Part 820 is the requirement for those wanting to sell into the USA and ISO 13485 for those wanting to sell into the EU. Number 2. What are the differences? CFR 21 Part 820 is a regulation, therefore a legal requirement for the USA, whilst ISO 13485 is a standard therefore not legally required although highly recommended for the EU. FDA being a regulation, their staff will assess you as referred to as inspectors rather than auditors and are actually law enforcement as they are working with the USA government. However, with ISO 13485 being a standard, assessments are carried out by auditors, who are employed by notified bodies. These are companies of which EU member states appoint and approve to assess for the conformity of products before being sold into the EU. Although many of the requirements of both are the same, there are still many small differences, four examples of which I'll be discussing with you right now. Number 1. Quality Policy While CFI also states that this is a requirement, ISO 13485 goes a step further by requiring measurable quality objectives in addition to this. Number 2. Training and Human Resources CFR focuses on training, whilst ISO 13485 specifies more detail and instead addresses competence, which can be achieved through education, skills or experience, rather than training alone. Number 3. Control of Documents CFR specifies that change records shall include a description of the changes made, a signature of the approvers and the date of which they became effective. And number 4. Purchasing ISO 13485 specifies written quality agreements between the organisation and suppliers However, it limits the scope to purchase products. CFR goes a little bit further than this and requires you have control for both receive products and services in addition to purchase products. But three, so which one should you build your QMS around? If you plan on selling in the USA, you will build your QMS on CFR 21 Part 820. And if you want to sell into the EU, you build it around ISO 13485. Though it's important to note due to the similarity between to both, it's not too difficult to have a QMS which satisfies both criteria. And this is what many companies do. However, it's also worth noting that the FDA has announced that it will be using ISO 13485 to replace the CFR system. So if you're only selling the USA, I highly recommend you begin to familiarise yourself with this standard before it becomes mandatory. If there are any other topics you'd like for me to discuss in future, then either leave a comment below or send me a private message. If you find this information valuable, please like and share with your network.